In the episode number 81 of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about Noctua and their brand new CPU cooler, the latest AMD graphics card drivers, EK Waterblocks has a new CPU waterblock and GoodRAM announces a new M.2 PCIe Gen 4 SSD. We start with Noctua and their new dual tower CPU cooler called the NH-D12L. This is a low height CPU cooler that is made to fit in small enclosures. With an advertised height of just 145mm, this CPU cooler uses the all new NF-A12X25R round frame 120mm fan, which again is made to fit on a smaller heatsink yet deliver the same performance. The NH-D12L is smaller than the usual CPU cooler that uses a 120mm fan, however it still packs a lot of research and development alongside good features. The heatsink has no less than 5 Coppermate heat pipes and a dual tower heatsink design which can accommodate up to 3 120mm fans in a triple push-pull configuration. In addition to being smaller, the NH-D12L has an asymmetric design which will improve the clearance for the RAM modules of the system. The NH-D12L is already available for purchase for 89.90 US dollars, while the NF-A12X25R round frame 120mm fan is available for 29.90 US dollars. We continue with AMD and their latest graphics card drivers, now at version 22.4.1. This driver is a beta release and brings out support for Unreal Engine 5 and the City Sample tech demo. And that's about it for supporting new things. However, this driver fixes some issues, which includes visual artifacting within Horizon Zero Dawn, an issue with the performance metric overlay which caused it to be misaligned. And that's about it. Unfortunately, plenty of known issues are left unresolved, such as a display mode of 4K 120Hz might be missing on some FreeSync displays using some AMD graphics cards, GPU utilization may be stuck at 100% in Radeon performance metrics after closing a game, some users on Windows 10 may observe the absence of the Windows Transparency IR effect, Ryzen CPU overclock settings may be changed after resetting or importing a profile from Radeon performance tuning options, enhanced sync may cause a black screen to occur when enabled on some games and system configurations configurations, and Radeon performance metric and logging features may randomly report extremely high and incorrect memory clock values. Only time will tell how good this beta driver is performance-wise. Next, EK Waterblock announces the EK Quantum Magnitude 1700 CPU Waterblock. This new Waterblock is made for the new Intel LJ1700 socket. The EK Quantum Magnitude is equipped with interchangeable accent frames available in various colors, finishes and materials. This includes two RGB accent frames. In terms of the build, each component used on the EK Quantum Magnitude are milled separately from a solid piece of material. Inside, the copper coal plate uses 0.4mm wide microchannels and 0.26mm thick microfins to maximize the thermal transfer with minimal flow restrictions. When we talk about pricing, the EK Quantum Magnitude is available for purchase for no less than 220 euros for the cheapest option or 269 euros for the top of the line variant. And finally, GoodRAM announces a new PCIe 4.0 SSD, the IRDM Pro M.2 PCIe Gen 4 x 4. This new SSD comes equipped with one of the biggest heatsinks I've ever seen, apart from those made by Sabrent, of course. In addition, the IRDM Pro has high-speed PCIe 4.0 x 4 NVMe interface and is available in three storage variants, 1TB, 2TB and 4TB. The read speeds are advertised at 7000 megabytes per second, while the writing speeds are advertised at 6850 megabytes per second. To improve the stability of the drive, this SSD has a DRAM buffer of up to 2 gigabytes in size. The controller used on this SSD is made by Fison and it is the PS5018 E18 model. It's an 8 channel E18 controller which is based on the IRM Cortex R5. The heatsink used on this SSD is large and made from metal. In addition, it uses large fins to dissipate the heat of the SSD and its Fison made controller. Unfortunately, the pricing is not yet known. And this is the end of the episode number 81 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.